This exact type of heart surgery had never been performed in Canada before Sebastian Havel was even born his heart. The walls between two sections of his heart were completely sealed, so blood would not be able to flow normally after he was born. Doctors would only have three minutes to puncture a small hole in that heart before permanent brain damage would occur. But he was okay as long as he remained inside his mother in utero. So in May, a team of 30 clinicians from Toronto Sick Kids and Mount Sinai Hospitals performed a high-risk procedure. They sent a catheter through the amniotic sac into the baby's heart and punctured a small hole in the wall with a tiny balloon to get the blood circulating normally. Though doctors were still worried it might not be big enough and that Sebastian would be born oxygen deprived, but he wasn't. When he came out, he was pink and screaming and it was just the most amazing sound I've ever heard because I was expecting a little blue baby to come out and there's this little guy all pink and screaming. The fact that the baby was already in good shape meant they could widen the hole in his heart without any additional complications. One of the doctors that led the procedure says it really opens the door to a new way of doing surgery. This is a procedure that has got um, quite wide applicability in other cardiac centres um, around the world. These kids can um, play soccer, play hockey, go to university, have pretty normal lives. And that's exactly the case with baby Sebastian. Doctors say his prognosis is good and he'll likely never need another heart surgery. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.